Okay, this is a quick step back into the jail zone, guys. In my previous video, I was talking about God and the importance of acknowledging the existence of God if you are indeed a spiritual person. You know, you just can't be believing in spirits, but then you want to turn your head every time someone mentions God who created them. Now, I like to address something I see all the time. And uh, this is something I see with practitioners of magic. When you call them out, and you let them know that they're communing with the demonic spirits, they'll say, oh, I have a good spirit. My, my spirits are, are good. Guys, this is a very common thing with them. Look, if you're having conversations with a spirit throughout the day, all day, in an audible voice, you're hearing audible voices, then you have a demon. Especially if you've been practicing magic. You have a demon 100%. And um, you need to repent to the Lord, and you need deliverance. There are no good earthbound spirits. None. Now, angels do come down, and they have assignments from God. They do protect people, but only the children of God they protect. So in order to have a guardian angel or angels, you must therefore have a relationship with God. This means that you're praying consistently to God all the time. You're always talking to Him. Uh... You trust God, and you obey Him. All right? Uh, witches and warlocks do not meet those qualifications. These are an abomination to the Lord. So anyways, you know how the story goes. The one true living God created the angels. They rebelled against Him, and they were cast out. And now those demonic spirits whom you're raising altars to have tricked you into siding with the devil. That's why God doesn't like witches and warlocks. It's because they deal with demons. Now, the familiar spirits in particular are lower than the other demons of the likes of, say, Satan and his generals, who are stronger in terms of will and intellect. And guys, all demons, they all want to be worshipped. Uh, so, when you get your altar going and you're making your offerings, not only are you worshipping unclean spirits, but you're making a pact with them a covenant, the terms of which give them the permission to inhabit you or your dwelling. Okay? This is this would be your house, your family members included. Okay? You're giving them permission to meddle in these things, to take possession of these things. Woe to the witch or the warlock who thinks these lying spirits are subservient to them, when the opposite is actually the truth. Yes, they provide some protection to you against those who would do you some petty harm, but in exchange, you're giving them access to the most intimate parts of your life. Every time you piss or you, you make love to your partner, there they are, these spirits crawling over you, or they're looking over your shoulder, getting a front row seat of the action, man. They're getting a front row seat of everything that you're doing. And you're selling your soul to them. It's terrible. And that's what I'm telling you. Turn away from this stuff. If you're, if you're doing magic, turn away from this stuff. Repent. Come to the Lord. And He'll forgive you. That's all I have for you guys today. Stay blessed.